Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean, and tonight, we got something a little different. Five reviews, 10 minutes, go. Two minutes a bottle. Clock, boom, stopwatch. I use these constantly for when I race people. All right, 10 minutes on the clock, AKA it's just counting to 10. Okay, we don't have any whiskey poured. Five bottles of whiskey there. in okay. front of us. These are a lot of whiskeys that have come out recently. Yeah. And, and it's the end of the year. We only have one Monday left. Because <laughs> so. we have Advent. Technically we have two left. There All is right. one at the end of the Start December. it in the timer. We're not using that. Yeah, I'm, I'm using sure this. We're at 22 well, seconds. No, we haven't even done anything on the with clock. this whiskey. Well, that's not How on How about me. you put the bottle in frame, you jackaloon? It's important that they know, you guys at home would in theory know what we're reviewing. Yeah. That what would are we be reviewing important. here? Today, bottle number one of the mm. five is mythology. Blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. This is the best friend bourbon, which normally has like a 15 year bourbon and a two year bourbon and a, like, it's just a blend of bourbons, okay? But this is at cast strength. It's 118, I thought it said 181 proof. I'm so dyslexic. So in Dan's mind, we have a one minute to, to review? review this. Yeah, yeah, watch this. Definitely worth 65 bucks. Boom, done. Ooh, Smells this has great. got that like, um, like the, the damp note that I say a lot, like the forest floor, like it's earthy, a little herbal. Oh, okay. Oh, that smells great. Oh, sorry, Kentucky, 15 year old. Indiana, five year, Indiana, two year. That's the thing. One's a higher IMGP, one's a lower IMGP, and one is probably from... I get uh, some cedar box notes in there. Something that rhymes with a Like a cigar <laughs> box, I would call that. I wasn't listening to you at all. That's Man, nice. that's just good. It is, and it's only $65. The fact that these are 65, their normal products are like 55, something like that. It's like a $10 upcharge from non-cast strength to cast strength. That's incredible whiskey for 65 bucks right now in this market. Yeah, I wonder how much of that two years in there. I don't really get any youthy notes on that. Probably more than yeah. the other two, I'd bet. Maybe that's the green note that I'm getting. Probably. That it's getting from the, the younger I definitely spirit. do think that the 36% rye MGP shines through a little bit. You it's get spicy. the bready notes. I don't get super breadiness. But I would say that's worth every penny of $65. Yeah, sweet cornbread on the nose for me. Next bottle. That was two minutes. Well, we had to open that one. We had to open the video. We had to... That's a buy. At 65 bucks, that's a buy. That's really good. Yeah, um, for sure. So this one... Hellbear. This is the Cast Strength Hellbear, coming in at 118.6 proof. She's a burr. We blend of straight rye whiskey, four-year and five-year bourbon. This would be a basically a direct comparison to Lost Monarch. The the new cast strength one? Yeah, but I mean their normal one is also the comparison to the normal, normal Lost Monarch. Yeah. So, um, but their normal one's like 50 oh, to 55, I don't this know is why 65. I, yeah, I don't know why I've never thought of that before. Yeah. Because I really like this and yeah. I didn't like the cast strength the Hell, Lost Monarch. The though. Hellbear is my favorite mythology product. Get a good, get a good oh! SJ on yep, it. Yep, it's amazing. I would buy this over that, I'd buy both. Ooh, but if I was picking one, it'd be ooh, this one. That's super citrusy. Oh. Then start my timer. You don't have to. Super citrusy. I got one rolling down in the deep end. It's like an orange marmalade. I'm just not listening to you at all. I can't. I've got to stay in focus. I had lyrics, dude. Ooh, but it's like, um, mm. it's spearminty also a little bit. That is such a good burai. There is like a spearmint, almost like a effervescence. Spearmint tobacco at the end, like mm. a tin of chewing tobacco spearmint type mm -hmm. thing. Otherwise, even because even that's a little bit sweet, the spearmint sweet. That's good. It's really good. That's almost like a mojito mint. Oh, like, I really like sweet. that. I do it's like that. It's got all that sugar with it. That's really good. There's, I like that probably more than uh, Best Friend. I agree. This has cinnamon too. This doesn't have the breadiness I get on that at all. I think this has more of the mint. Well, the bourbon, four and five year bourbon. Also rye. Rye me. Yeah. Blend four and five year. Did you say that? Yep. I just looked you in your dumb eyes and said four and five year bourbon. This is really good whiskey, <clears throat> if you're wondering. Price? Is that 65 65 too? I think that, yeah, I would rather have that, yeah. the Burr Rye, over just the bourbon. They're both worth it. I would say that if you didn't find the Redwood Empire Barrel oh, Proof yeah. Series, great I, these are great like mix-ups to that series. If you're in Colorado, maybe you can find these cast Man. strength ones. They're really freaking good. The rye spice in the back of this, it's winter in Michigan now, today, all it's of a sudden. It's snowing, yeah. Um, the rye in the back of this is perfect right now. Third bottle! <laughs> Speaking of in three inches, Dixon. No, can't use that. I made that. <laughs> we definitely can. Dixon's laugh. All right. This 
one of our most anticipated bottles of whiskey. This is 2XO. Okay. This smells really good. 2XO is Dixon Deadman's new brand projects, love life. 2X Oak. That's Literally, 2XO. 2XO is Dixon Deadman's Stephen King to books. It's like, that's the analogy. I, this. Dude, this smells so much better than when we opened it. I It is. I love this bottle. So, so close to cherry cough syrup though for me. It's got a crap ton of like cherry and oak. It's very, very rich. I think it's right on that line for me anymore. I think this is freaking incredible. So 2XO means two times oak. Did you already say that? that? Damn it, dude. I don't, don't know bad why listener you can't today. listen to Usually I'm a good listener. Um, this feels like it's got uh, some age coming off of the, the mythology bottle. It does. Like this carries a lot more of the sweet oak. Can I tell you what's there? crazy? It's not. It's five. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not much older. It's not older, it's five. Well, some of it's four. The Hellbear is five. Four and five. Back Are you gonna check. read it one more time? Hellbear is four and five. Okay, thank you. So this, Sean and I have been looking forward to this since mm -hmm. we heard of 2XO, since we heard of Dixon's new project. Dixon did all, Dixon Deadman's one of the greatest blenders in the whole country, we all know this. This isn't a, this is not a debatable fact, it's not arguable. Dan didn't give me any whiskey, I've had a nip. Did I pour that for you? Yeah. Wow. He's doing these with finishing cubes, which yeah, is very interesting. Toasted or whatever cubes of wood that he's doing actually in the barrel. Yeah, so they come in like sleeves, the, you drop them in. Yeah, it's kind of like the makers where they take the top off, throw in some finishing staves, and then do it that way, but instead yeah. they're just putting them in through the can't say bunghole. You can say bunghole, that's what it is. Mm. Literally. Not around you though. Literally, that's fair. Um, I didn't mean for the video, I mean just around you. So each of the, there's a, there's gonna be a um, innkeeper's blend. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be like a bunch of different ones of these. I think if you see a Phoenix blend at this point, you, I would buy it. I'd yeah. buy another one of these. This is really, really They're good. They're really good. Um, it, it definitely drinks like it's older whiskey. It's obviously from the finishing cubes and sweet. stuff like that, but it is sweet, it's Caramel. cherry. It's got caramel. I got coffee off the back end of it. It's got some sweet oak notes. All around, really good bottle. $100, buy. Before we get back to the bottles of whiskey that we're reviewing today, we need to take just a second to talk about today's video's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Skullbliss. We worked with Skullbliss in the past. You can see this freaking awesome skull right here. Skullbliss has been an awesome partner to the channel for quite a while now. Everything from Skullbliss is ethically sourced. Everything goes to help the community. The artisans are actually hand engraving. This is like an incredibly detailed process. Some of these skulls take up to three days to make, to carve. You can get them for your table. You can get them for your wall. You can get lights behind them. You can get no lights behind them. There's so many different skulls and styles to choose from. This is just one. This one's actually mounted onto this wall. It's got a light bulb in the back of it. This one's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, we actually have two of them. This one sits over here, guards all the whiskey on top of the shelves. Check out Skullbliss. They're having a huge Black Friday sale, literally up to $1,000 off as long as the skulls are in stock. If you want like legitimately one of the coolest like home decor icebreakers for your spot at home, go to schoolbliss.com. Click the link down below. It'll just take you straight over there. You can go through the site. There's rams and longhorns and bulls and there's literally like so many different things to look at, tons of different finishes. Go check them out. Thanks to Schoolbliss for working with the channel as always. They've been great. These are so cool. We always get compliments when people come over and check them out. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for supporting the people who support us. Back to the video. <laughs> Fucking hate you. <laughs> you don't, it, oh, I give you a lot. It doesn't need to be organized. It's okay. People I know, don't expect but I would, I would like it to be somewhat organized. Why? So the video yeah. just fucking tracks for people. So it's not like. Guys, do you expect that? Yes, leave a comment down below. While this you're is here, all subscribe. Cut. This is all leave cut. Leave this in while you're here. <laughs> cut. Sorry. I don't know what the fuck Subscribe you want. for that. <laughs> leave that in. That's a gift if I've ever seen a gift. You gotta leave that in, dude. That's gotta stay in. And while you're here, because Sean just did the ski, if you've ever seen Silicon Valley, you go tip to tip and you know the thing. I hate you so much right now. This whiskey smell. Okay, so this is Woodford Reserve. And it's not technically a master's keep anymore, but it's kind of a master's keep. They were keep. never master's keep because yes, they were was. master's collections. Idiot.
Woo! This wrong is... one. I still will get that wrong I know. until I die. Every day. So this is technically not a Masters Collection, but it is still a Masters Collection in my mind. Um, this is Woodford Batch Proof. It is technically a Master's Collection according to the front of the bottle. Yeah, but they still put out like... They do. They're, they're a weird one stuff. One Master Collection a year and then they keep the, the uh, barrel proof around. This continually blends high for us. I think it was like top three or four for us last year. This is usually amazing for us. Dan Holy is making noises. Shit, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's good whiskey. Oh man, dude. I was trying to hold it in while you were talking. I had three angelic O's right there. That was incredible. That whiskey smells like the best flambe banana I've ever had in my entire freaking life. Creme brulee, man. It's caramel, banana, vanilla sweetness. It's like rich, dark, hyper old sweet oak. Like this tree, before they even cut it into a oh. barrel, 300 years old. So this is gonna be end of the year for sure. Um, this has a lot of oak on it. Let me tell you what. Um, That's an S47 plus. That is literally like a fresh creme brulee with like strawberries and raspberries on top. There's like a little bit of that like smoked oak on there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like if you make charry. a smoked cocktail and then kind of sprinkle that on there. And it's charry. Yeah. I think that's incredible. Holy whiskey. smokes. That's the best this one they've ever done. better too. That's the best one they've ever done. That's the, my favorite one. That that's freaking really incredible. Good. This smells like it would compete with President's Choice. Wait, what's your grade? <clears throat> Just A7Q4S. A $150, 175 I don't, care. I don't know the price on these right They're now. They're $135. Yeah. Oh, so. I'd pay so much more than that. Yeah. Man, that really ruined some price tags for other people, doesn't it? Well, and they haven't opt as everybody else went up. They <sighs> kept these the same. Now, here's the thing. They're rewarding us for buying all the shit ones they've done over the past handful of years, too. Uh, I mean, we got the uh, the Charlie... Charlie? The... Cherry, barley, Delta, smoke, whatever. Charlie, you know what I'm talking about. Foxtrot, Tango. I'm gonna hold that one off. I'm gonna probably finish that. Later. Last bottle of our 10 minute review. We've done a great job. No, we haven't. We've There's done 13 a, minutes on the clock right we've now. We've done a beautiful job. Bardstown, what's the finish? This is a this new, is a brand new. Virginia <laughs> oak something. I don't, what is it? <laughs> you were kind of close. It's West Virginia. Yeah. Great Barrel Company. There we go. You had the wrong state. You had the right word. I said Virginia. It's the West one, though. It's not the big one. It's, it's the smaller the same. one. This... It's like North and South Dakota. <laughs> it's not. If you say Dakota, you know what I mean. <laughs> no one cares. It's not West and East Virginia. You know what? It's like, hey, Mount Rushmore or the other one. Like, that's where we're at with it. This is a new Bardstown. It's actually toasted with infrared heat rather than fire. West Virginia Barrel Company, Great Barrel Company, sorry, that's the actual name. West Virginia Great Barrel Company is, is it funky coming off that Woodford? We what? have not had this. This is obviously a real fresh, fresh crack. crack. What? It's is a that? rye. Did you know that? No. That's super important because it smells rye. Yes, it does. It, like it smells like a very lemongrassy. finished rye. So, Dude, blend? I thought it was like really, really like two year funky finish or something. There's Canadian rye in here too, so which will which matches the nose. Blended rye whiskey finished in infrared toasted cherry oak barrels, 110 proof. And cherry oak? Cherry what? oak. What is cherry oak? Cherry oak. Cherry oak. There, it's a cherry oak wood that the, West, the, the great West Virginia Barrel Company uses. There's cherry trees and there's oak trees. But there are also genetically modified cherry I don't know oak. what a cherry oak tree is. Man, oh, what is that I get weirdness? Cinnamon and potpourri. Potpourri for sure. Yeah. But there's like a weird fruit medley on there and there's something that doesn't belong. Like there's a shoe in your jelly. There's not a shoe in your- What is going on here? Maybe it's the rye that's throwing me? So it's six year old Indiana rye and a 12 year old Canadian whiskey. Oh, I think- That could be a 99. That could be any, Canadian whiskey is just allowed Broad, to be yeah. itself. Yeah. Canadian whiskey identifies as Canadian whiskey. You know what I mean? So that could be like a 99 corn whiskey. It could be 100% malted, I, I'm sure. Like, So honestly, the the malt makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's very funky. The, I get the same thing There's something thing like on smoky on this though. It, it feels very uh, malty, Ooh, I like the smoky. smoky you know, Cause it's darker than that. Yeah. Cherry cinnamon, smoke. It's a, it's a, it's a cherry pop tart if you smoked it on a Traeger. It is. For a short period. Yeah, with a semi-sweet chocolate in there. Yeah. That's weird. That's, That's so interesting. I don't know if I like it or not. So though. I do like it. I also, but it is, I think it's, this is one of these bottles when people come over, you're like, you gotta try this. I wanna see if you like this. I feel like that's this type of bottle. This is a sharer. 
You don't think so? We had the rabbit I, This hole. is a love or hate. I guarantee oh, that's going to be yeah. a love or hate. I don't know how to even grade this, if I'm being completely honest. It is very expensive. It is it very, is, it very is, unique. It and it's not, high. it's just not off-putting. Like, no, so I that's, like it. I, I think it's just going to be a love or hate. I do think you're right on that. All right, now we have 18 minutes, and it's supposed to be 10, but here we are. Well, we spent monkeys. three minutes of Sean trying to get those vowels into the beginning. So, you know, it's realistically like 14. <laughs> Oh man, so what was your fair ball that line? Oh up? Woodford, not even that close. That Woodford's ridiculous. Not even close. Close ish it's second. It's two XO. Yeah. And here's the thing. This, <laughs> I'm gonna Dude. roll real quick, because this needs to be in the video. Dustin and Kelly Blue sent us this as a gift. We didn't even pay for this. Yeah. That was a gift because we couldn't find these. No. And Dustin was like, Do you want one? I'm like, Yeah, yes, let us know how much time. it costs. And then yeah, wouldn't let me pay them. Yeah. Literally, this is a gift. This is the best Woodford batch that they've ever made. We Mark my words. We could blind him. It's not even close. We could blind him. Not even close. None of them have President's Choice esque oak on them. One, and this one does. Three. This one does. That's dog water, comparably. Ready? It's so much better. No. I don't think so at all. It's better than you think. Oh, buddy. No. This is so much better on the nose. Right, I'll blind these for you real quick. Okay. When we're done here. Do it. What, what do you mean, do it? I need Glenn's, dummy. It doesn't really matter. Like, comment, subscribe. Did we say that? We gotta say at the beginning. Talk it out.